Shikari Richardson is officially on the map now. She just did something that I think nobody has actually done, which is to beat Sharika Jackson in really that last part of the race. We have the 200 meter here from the World Championships where we saw Shelly Ann Fraser-Price win the 100 and Sharika Jackson win the 200. And the big thing when you watch the 100 is that Shelly Ann Fraser-Price was actually getting kind of run down by Sharika Jackson. If it was 110, maybe 120 meters, I think Sharika Jackson would have ended up winning where are we seeing the 200 here as they're coming around the curve again Shelly Ann Fraser Price is probably in, in first but as we get to the end we see Striga Jackson outrun everybody and in a lot of ways she has been consistently the fastest woman in the world somebody that really has not been beaten by anybody in that kind of end part of 100 or really last part of, of a 200 as well and what Shakari Richardson did today in Doha is actually beat her, right? So when you look at this position, I mean, everybody kind of says that they could be even. You could even make the argument that Sharika Jackson is, is potentially in front. Uh, to me, it looks like she's in front. But the point being is Shakari Richardson gets on her horse. And you can see, I mean, Sharika Jackson is really leaving everybody else. You know, we have uh, Dean Asher Smith here. We have Tanisha Terry. I mean, there's a lot of really, really good sprinters here. And Shakira Richardson goes and passes all of them, including Sharika Jackson, which is, again, something I don't think anybody has done. 1076 as well. Amazing time. Second time this year that she's run under 10.8. Obviously, the other one was a win-aided run. But still, I mean, this is really an, an impressive, impressive feat, especially this early on in the season. We can go look a little bit into the numbers here. 0.12 in terms of a contact time. Off the ground by around 0.18, 0.19. I mean, just so fast with her foot contact time. Maybe, you know, probably about 0 0.17, 0 0.07. Has to be somewhere in there. Just an amazing ability to generate a ton of vertical force and that's one of the things that we talked about here recently i made a video that went a lot into more of that horizontal force running which is what uh, sharika jackson does she's a lot longer with with her stride she's going to take a lot less steps in comparison to shakari richardson but shakari richardson is going to be able to do because she's a lot more of a vertical force runner she's going to have a lot longer air time she's going to be spending a, a lot of time in the air so you can see that like with this step for instance she's already off the ground here where you know, we got Shelly Ann, we have Sharika, we have Shakari. There's it's just everybody, you know, I already have kind of a lisp and, and so it just makes it a little bit more difficult. So bear with me a little bit here. But we can see now uh, Sharika Jackson's off the ground, right? But then they both end up touching the ground at about the same time. You know, she's a little bit, Shakari Richardson's a little bit out in front, but Kerry Richardson to be able to get that vertical force, really be able to pop off the ground. And, and in order to really be effective as a vertical force producer you have to be able to be very stable in your lower half you have to be very stable really within the foot to be able to land and quickly accelerate right back off the ground and do that in a way where you're going to be able to cover a lot of ground and that's what's very unique about her is she has just that that really large amount of force that she could generate in the ground and then just essentially just pop right back up off the ground, which is what's going to end up making up for not having as much height, not having as long of legs, and really not being as much of a horizontal force producer or a horizontal runner, right? We see a lot of the top runners are really, really great at creating a lot of horizontal force when they're sprinting or she's somebody that's really relying on. I mean, she still uses that horizontal force. She's definitely generating horizontal force through here. But the reason that she is a little bit shorter but doesn't have as good of a start is just because she is a lot more of, again, that vertical force type of runner. So she's really relying on that end type of run, which is a little bit counterintuitive to what we typically see as sprinters. Typically, we see more of those vertical force type of runners end up being really good out the gate, having really fast turnover, and then just not having as good of a finish where here we see that Shakari Richardson is, has a great finish and, and is able to build a ton of speed because of, again, how quick she's able to get off the ground. I think that a lot of the vertical force producers that are men, they're not able to have that same type of quickness off the ground, which is where they end up having the downfall, where Shakari Richardson is really able to, to still generate a, a ton of height 
and and distance and, and could potentially be her overall weight too could have a, a big difference because that, that vertical force could really make a bigger difference when it comes to being able to get that air time and being able to cover more distance so if you're heavier you're not going to be able to have as much air time because obviously gravity is going to pull you down quicker so again the fact that she's able to get off the ground quick be able to travel really far that really makes up for the large amount of steps she ends up taking because of how fast her her turnover is and, and really how short of, of a stride she has because of how much of a again vertical force producer she is so very interesting to be able to see her achieve at such a high level if you like the information click that thumbs up subscribe to the channel 